From a quiet getaway to a major destination, a huge transformation is in store for Chula Vista's Bayfront. I think Chula, I think Chula Vista's ready for it. 10 News reporter John Horn has the new developments on the South Bay's changing skyline and concerns that the city is growing too big too fast. Well, just that it's passive. It's a good place to walk. It's a good place to be at. A lot of families come out here. Ed Conroy makes a daily pilgrimage to Chula Vista's Bayside Park, one of the city's most peaceful places. But look just off the coast, and it's a lot less inviting. It's been empty for years. You know, there's been no businesses here. That now about to change. A plan to redevelop the Bayfront with a 1600 room hotel and a 400,000 square foot convention center just cleared its last major hurdle before developers can pull permits. The Port of San Diego Board of Directors unanimously approved the project Tuesday. The project calls for relocating the RV park behind that wall. That would clear enough space for the convention center and hotel to be right along Chula Vista's Bayfront. It's transformational. Port what? Commissioner Ann Moore says the $1.1 billion Bayfront project will attract visitors and locals with new park space, retail, restaurants, and create 7,000 permanent jobs. She says it will also pay for itself. The revenues that the, this project generates will be what will be used to actually develop the project. But some Chula Vista residents expressed concerns over the increased congestion. I think that Chula Vista is already kind of crowded, so I don't really know if that's the best thing to have more people coming into the city. It's Moore says the plan roads. calls it's for adding empty. shuttles and a number of road improvements, including extending H Street down to the water. Crews could break ground by middle of next year. John Horn, 10 News. Now, Rita Development still needs to secure permits. The port, city, and developer also finalizing their financing plan. As it stands, the opening is anticipated in 2023.